Hi guys, welcome back to another video. So today is Friday already. I have no idea where the week went. How is it already Friday? I don't know. But I am in Madison's room right now. I don't even know if I even showed you guys. Like, I know I showed you the window when I was talking about the windows and what color to paint the frame and then you saw the paint color then, but I don't think I ever like actually showed you like the room and the paint color. So I'm gonna show you that and then I'll show you what else I've got going on in here. <laughs> so this is the paint color. Oh no, it's on camera obviously, so it's hard to tell, but it's a very light pink. It looks, I don't know, I feel like sometimes it looks darker and sometimes it looks lighter. I like it more when it looks lighter. <laughs> when it looks darker, it's kind of like a little bit too pink, but not really, I don't know. It's not like, it's not that bad. The paint color is called Angelic by Sherwin-Williams, if you're wondering, that's what we went with. Um, and it's really pretty, like it looks really pretty right now. Sometimes it just depends on like the lighting and the sun and everything. Sometimes it looks darker. Um, but anyway, her room is a complete disaster right now. Yeah, it's terrible. Like she, I don't know, she keeps setting up toys under here and trying to play. And then I keep coming in here and like having to push everything out of the way because I'm trying to get a ladder and like a tarp and everything in here to paint. So yeah, and then this is the status of her closet. It's a mess. Um, this is another thing I want to do in here. All she has in here is a shelf up here, which she can't even reach. I can't even reach it. I just have to, I put stuff up there and then I need like a ladder. Oh, I need a ladder to put stuff up there basically, which is annoying. Um, and then she has like this big gap and then another shelf and then the one bar for clothes and then her two drawer things. I have to get, I have to figure out something for her room like a closet organizer and I saw one that I liked on Home Depot I think but her closet was like two inches too short for it or something which was annoying but but I have pretty much all the taping done in her room except for like the top of her closet which I got to do I got that done that window sill over there is done it's all done so right now I am going to start doing some of the trim but I have to retouch like this area right here, you can see where I didn't get there that good. And then like another spot down here. And I thought there was another spot, but now I can't find it. But I'm going to touch that up real quick and then get started doing her trim. And hopefully that doesn't take me too long because I really just want to be done with this room so I can like fully focus on something else. But yeah, so Noah's upstairs for his second nap and they're playing in the kitchen right now. I made Chase his very first sensory bin today. I'm actually gonna be getting the Ikea sensory table. I forget what it's called, but as soon as Ikea opens, I'm going there to get that. So I can kind of, I just like it. I think the table is so cute looking. Um, and it'd be perfect for this kind of stuff, but it's just rice and I gave him a bunch of tools and stuff to play with. So they've actually both been playing with this like a lot today. What? That's an extra tool. What extra tools? So sand stuff? Um, okay. Okay, so this is the next day now, um, Saturday. I didn't get much done yesterday. I didn't get any trim painting done because Noah ended up waking up, so I didn't have time to do, to do that. But I did paint around her window frame, like the metal that I was showing you. I don't even know if I showed you that before. I know I just talked about it in the vlog before this, um, like trying to figure out what I wanted to do with that. I painted pink around the sides and the top, so let me show you that. So it's kind of hard to see, but this is what I'm looking at right here. The edge, I painted that pink and the top pink. Um, just like that. This part is the window. So this is the window. This is like the window frame, I guess. Um, so I did one coat of pink on it, but I have to go back over it again because some spots didn't cover that well. So I'm going to do two coats on that and then this I got to do white. And then, and then it's a good thing I didn't start painting this trim, molding, whatever you call this, because Greg said that I should just take these pieces off and paint them and then put them back on. So that's what I'm going to try to do today or tomorrow, take these off. And that'll probably make it a lot easier and also... You know, I put the tape as close as I could, but I don't want to have any paint getting on the floor, so that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to take them all off and paint them. So yeah, hopefully this weekend I can get that done because it's beautiful outside, it's not humid, it's dry, it's so nice. So that's my plan, to hopefully get that all done and be done in her room 
But right now, Noah is upstairs. He's supposed to be sleeping, but he's not sleeping yet. I'm hoping that he does go to sleep so that I can put a new rug in the playroom. Here is my rug right here. I got it from, where did I even get this from? Home Depot, I think. No, Amazon. <laughs> I got it on Amazon. They sell it everywhere. Amazon, Home Depot, Wayfair, they all have the same rug and the best deal was on Amazon. So I got that and yeah, I just wanted a rug in here. Um, I wasn't sure what I wanted to do for a while, but every time I sit in here with the kids and I play, the floor is just so hard <laughs> and I need a rug and I don't, I don't know. I think it'll make it a lot nicer in here. So I'm going to sweep the floor, mop, and get this rolled out. Hopefully it's nice and not scratchy or anything like that. And I also have a rug pad for it. Uh, my rug pad in this box right here. And it is nice and quiet in the house right now. There's not gonna be any fighting because Greg took Chase to Home Depot with him. This is Chase's first time out of the house since, well not out of the house, his first time like to a store since coronavirus started. He has his mask, so, so yeah, Greg took him with him. He'll get out of the house, change of scenery, that'll be good for him, and I can get some stuff done here, you know, without the bickering between the two of them. Maybe I was blind, on you forever while I tried to find someone that could Exactly. It's supposed to be like a 
So here's our new rug. I'm sure maybe you guys have seen this one before. I feel like it's, it was like one of the first ones that came up when I searched for like area rugs. So I didn't spend very much time looking for anything different because I liked it. I thought the pattern was cute. And yeah, um, I do have to trim down the rug pad though because well, on this here, on this side it's good, but the other side is like right at the edge. I have to see how that is like, I have to see how this side and this side are and make sure that you know, it's short enough so that the rug overhangs correctly. Um, but yeah, it's a little bit rolled up on the edge, so we just have to give it a little bit. Maybe I'll wait until it's like completely flat and then I'll trim the rug pad. It's probably the best idea, but. This is how you do it. Yay. <laughs> <laughs> and not only did we get a rug, but we got five of these amazing, massive rubber bands. Let me know if you guys are like me and keep random stuff like this because I'm definitely going to save these because there will be a time where I need a massive rubber band and now I have five of them. <laughs> All right, so it is a little after nine. Kids are in bed and I am finally, finally going to start doing the trim in Madison's room. Have my paint here, which I was just stirring, but it looks like it still needs to be stirred. This is a... What is this? It's a gloss. It's like high gloss by Sherwin Williams. It says pure white. I forget the exact name of the gloss, but it's like a glossy, it's a glossy finish for trim. And I already did a second coat on the pink around her window. I did both windows, so that is done. So I just have to do this trim or like the window frame or whatever down here and then i'm gonna do around her closet and then i think greg's gonna help me or actually i can do her door too um and then greg's gonna help me take the like the trim off the bottom and then i could paint that like during the day or something tomorrow but Record your cookie? Yeah, I did it. Are you gonna eat it like that or are you gonna put it in the fire? Okay. <laughs> Feels good to eat. See how it's like brown? Ooh, yeah. ooh, I'm burning. Look what I have created. It is Saturday now. If I look a little bit sweaty, it's because I am. My camera is so annoying. I feel like I want to get a new camera, but I also don't want to spend so much money to get this brand or whatever of camera again. It's like $1,000, but my screen, I dropped it. I dropped my camera like a couple weeks ago when I was doing a cleaning video and it fell from like, it fell from the air fryer onto the floor. And then ever since then, the screen has been weird. Like it keeps flipping my image up, upside down and then I'm having to like reverse what I'm doing to make sure that I'm in frame. It's like mirror image, it's like really annoying. But I can't just justify getting a new camera just because of that, so I'm trying to get used to it. But anyway, it's Saturday. Um, I have Noah in the playpen right now because Greg and I need to go up in our room and I'm gonna show you real quick. We're gonna take out an old air conditioner that's in there it's like so bad we're not even gonna use it i don't even know what year it's from but it's so old and it's so dirty and i just want to be able to show you like the frame of the window like where it was because i'm sure that's gonna be like super dirty and i'm gonna have to try to clean that really quick before we put the or actually i don't know no i probably won't have to do that we're gonna put the window back in let me show you because they had to when they put the air conditioner in they had to like i guess take the bottom part of the window off and i just finished cleaning that so here is that 
yeah that's the bottom part of the window it was so dirty but i gave it a good scrub in the tub so it's looking much better so we have to put that back in after we take the air conditioner out inside come i want to leave i want to be able to leave gracie out on the deck because she likes to go outside and i've been trying to do that but we keep getting bees that fly in here like i leave the screen open like just a little bit for her tiny body to go in and out but we still keep getting like bugs flying in here so i don't know what to do about that i need like a doggy door sliding screen door or something like that um but yeah so we're gonna go upstairs in a minute take the air conditioner out um and then we'll finally be able to have like cross ventilation it's dark cross ventilation in our room because right now it's like we don't get a breeze in our room because we only have like the one window that can open and the other window across from that window has our air conditioner in it right now which i'm gonna switch to the other window it's very confusing but that's what we're up to today taking air conditioner out putting a window in very exciting stuff oh and then mass and i are going to go to home depot in a little while so that'll be fun so this is the air conditioner we're taking out caloric is the brand i've never even heard of that brand but yeah that is what it looks like and in here let's see if i can show you that's all dirt how gross is that but yeah, it should be pretty easy to clean, I want to say. After we get the air conditioner out, it would kind of be impossible to do it with it in there. But I'm so excited for this to be gone because it's pretty gross and it's like right next to where I sleep. <laughs> so, oh, and by the way, I got my new pillows on the bed, which I will show you later because Noah is escaping me. Where are you going? So we finally got the air conditioner out. That was such a pain in the butt. Like, it was horrible. Greg hurt his arm. He, like, busted a blood vessel or something. He's got, like, a big bump on his arm from, like, trying to lift it. It was such a pain in the butt. It was, like, held up with, like, I'll show you when I go upstairs. I can't go upstairs right now because I'm watching them. Um, it was held up by, like, a metal bracket, but the window, I don't know how they even got it in there because it was just not fitting, like, through the window it just wanted to like go out and we ended up like having to like tip it back and lay it on the roof of the garage and then we had to like break off the plastic piece like you know the part that like expands to fill the gap or whatever like that plastic piece we had to break that off to get it back in through the window but <sighs> finally got it and it is so dirty the windowsill is so dirty so i have to vacuum it out and do like a quick clean before uh before Noel goes to bed tonight um but Greg ran out to the deli by us. We're getting some fried chicken for dinner. I was gonna make a vegetable to go with it. Um, but I just, I don't know, I'm just tired and feel like it. it's really only like Madison and me eating. Greg doesn't even know if he's gonna eat right now, so yeah. What are you doing? What are they doing in there? They're going crazy. It's so dark in there. It's so blue. It's so blue. It's like they feel like they have so much room now because there's a rug. It does make the room look bigger. I feel like it does look bigger in here, which is nice. This is my progress on this wall. I've been working on this the past few nights after everybody goes to bed. So I've got this left to take down that's painted over wallpaper. And then I was trying to figure out what was going on up there. I forget if I vlogged this or not. I think I might have. I don't even remember what's in this vlog, but up here was giving me such a problem. It's been so hard to get off. I feel like they, I feel like there's no wallpaper under here. It's weird. It's like some spots there's wallpaper and then other spots there's not. So I feel like what happened was they started taking down the wallpaper and then decided that it was too, like they didn't want to deal with it and they just painted over it. Just why some spots it's easier to get off. Like it just peels off and other spots it feels like I'm just chipping away at paint. So I don't know, but the other day I realized that this wall has wallpaper under it too because I got to the edge and it just like, it just kept going onto this wall. Like I was hoping that it was just this wall that had wallpaper. For some reason I was just hoping that they just did like this main wall, but no, it comes right over onto this wall. <laughs> but luckily the screen or the slider door takes up most of the wall so it won't be as much to do. Anyway, that's my status with the kitchen. That's the room I want to do next, I think, because I'm just, I'm in the kitchen a lot and I'm tired of looking at it. It looks so ugly. Um, 
But tonight I'm gonna do some work in Madison's room, do some trim painting. I got that air bed from my mom again, so she's actually gonna sleep in the playroom so that I can go in there and do some painting after bedtime, so yeah. Chicken. All right, so this is the window that had the air conditioner in it. I showed you that before. This is the aftermath of taking it out. Greg already brought it down to the garage. But that is what the inside of the windowsill looks like. It's so bright right now, hopefully you can see. I'm like blinded right now by the sun. But look at that, how disgusting. I'm just gonna vacuum out as much as I can. I can't go crazy with it right now because I don't have the time. But yeah, so gross. This is the bar that was holding it up. I guess that's a normal thing, but it was such a pain in the butt because it was just like wedged in there and then we couldn't move the air conditioner, so. So it's the next day now. I want to show you what the windowsill looks like. It's not great because I couldn't spend like forever cleaning it, but I got the bulk of the dirt up, I guess. So this is what it looks like now. Yeah, it still needs a lot of work, but I mean, it's a lot better than it was. And I was like excited to have like this normal window in our room and I still kind of am but like I thought this was a good window I thought it was like an Anderson window like we had in the other house which were so nice but this is like a cheapo window and it's so hard to move it like up and down and even like this part that you grab like it flexes when you pull the wind like when you pull up and down so yeah I don't know I was thinking like we wouldn't have to replace this window when we do our windows and maybe we still won't maybe we'll leave this one I don't know but if we're gonna do our windows, I, want, I would want to kind of do all of them and have them all the same and have them all be nice and good. But anyway, that is the status of that. And I was gonna go to Home Depot in this vlog. Like I was trying to get to Home Depot, but it didn't happen over the weekend. And then tonight I was gonna try to go, but they close early. Like they close at like eight and now it's like 6.30 or past 6.30. So I just don't have enough time. So I guess I'm not gonna be able to do that. But definitely this weekend, I gotta make time to get there. All right, I am done. I'm like 99% done in Madison's room. There's like a couple spots on her window frame that I need to touch up because I didn't have the tape exactly in the right spot. So I'm just gonna touch up those pieces. So this is what her room looks like now. All the walls are done. That trim part is missing, but you can see the trim over here. It looks so much nicer. I have to put her, her vent covers on and her outlet covers and everything. Um, but I did just want to take some of the... I want to take some of the tape off and show you guys. Because that is always so satisfying to remove some tape. So... Alright, I'll do a little bit and then you can pull it, okay? Hopefully it's good. I'm scared. Good. All right, Madison here. You gotta pull it slow. Okay. Whoa, dress. Oh. Madison's wearing her Easter dress today. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and I like to wear my Easter dress. I right, could pull a little faster than that. Okay. <laughs> there we go. Look at that. 
so nice. I love pulling tape off. Okay, but this is not, well, this is actually tape. Some of the spots, some of these spots, I think I'm gonna have to go back and touch up with just like a brush with the pink because I noticed when I was painting it, the tape was like peeling up a little bit. And I was hoping that that wasn't gonna make a difference, but it did. So this is not a very good line. So I'm gonna have to fix that, which is a bummer. So it's like 10 o'clock at night now, a different day, but I am editing this vlog and I just wanna end it with telling you guys what happened with the tape in Madison's room. I feel like Madison's room was like a tester room for me or something like, I feel like I learned a lot <laughs> doing her room, but one thing that I definitely will not do again, I know I think I went back and forth a couple times like saying what I thought the best thing to do with the trim was. Like first I wanted to leave it on and I taped it all off so I could paint the trim while it was still on. And then Greg said that I could take it off. And then I don't know if I said this or not, but then I was like annoyed with taking it off because it was like hard to get off and then it was, like Greg tried to put one piece back on and the nails had like bent when I pulled the trim off so now it's going to be hard to get some of the pieces back on so then I was like oh I should have just left the trim on there and painted all the trim while it was still on the wall but I don't know I feel like the best method right now is to still take all the trim off even if it's a pain in the butt because what happened with Madison's room is I taped along the floor like I taped really good I made sure that I got the tape all the way like under the trim and like covering the floor so I don't know what the frig happened but there's like little spots on her floor where there's like paint on her wood floor so now I have to get that off and I was like googling how to remove paint from the floor and I found something that I'm hoping is gonna work um, it's not too bad but you can definitely notice it because it, her paint is so light and the floor is dark so I'm like super bummed that that happened like i don't know what the freak i thought that was the point of using tape was so that you know paint wouldn't get where you didn't want it to go so yeah learned my lesson there i'm definitely going to be taking the trim off from now on unless it's on like a floor that we don't care about like I well i don't know i was going to take the trim off in the kitchen anyway because there's wallpaper behind it and i want to get that off um but playroom i was going to take the trim off also because again there's wallpaper behind it but I definitely should have taken the trim off all over at least there's only like two pieces of trim that that happened to in her or two pieces two parts of the wall you know what I'm trying to say so fingers crossed that I can fix that um but other than that her room is done we just have to put the trim pieces back on and yeah her room is finally done. <laughs> that was a long process. Um, and this is a long vlog. I hope you guys enjoyed watching. If you did, give me a thumbs up. Um, thank you for watching and I will see you guys all in my next video. Bye.